It's going to be election day tomorrow in Oregon. Special elections all around the state from school board members to raising taxes to help pay for fire and police. Today, our Lisa Balick is in the studio taking a look at the Multnomah County Commission race to replace Jessica Vega Peterson, who's now commission chair. Yeah, it's a very big race. Um, you know, you got to realize the county is just huge, you know, and keeps growing all the time. So, and they've got a, you know, multi billion dollar budget. budget. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, there are three candidates in this race Julia Brim Edwards, Anna Del Rocio, and Albert Kaufman. They're all campaigning to represent District 3 in Southeast Portland, where they live. Homelessness, a key problem I asked them about. Anna Del Rocio is a former legislative policy advisor to Jessica Vega Peterson. She served on the David Douglas School Board and works for a nonprofit. She supports funding more affordable housing and short term rent assistance rather than mass shelters. Beyond not having the capacity needed to staff those shelters, there are very specific ways that we can improve the accessibility of shelters for people who are gender um, expansive. Candidate Julia Brim Edwards is currently a three term Portland School Board member, a former Nike executive who runs a consulting company. She supports a focus on helping people get off the street quickly with transitional housing rather than waiting for enough permanent housing to be built. They've been focused on permanent, only permanent, primarily on permanent housing and that has completely ignored the 5,000 plus people who are currently on the streets who wouldn't have a path to shelter or basic services anytime in the future. Candidate Albert Kaufman, a board member for his Southeast Portland Neighborhood and Business Association, says it's time to look at other existing vacant buildings to help provide indoor shelter with services. Using uh, the closing Walmarts uh, in our region to house people on an emergency basis. Um, if we had a tornado come through Portland or a hurricane or an earthquake, we would figure out quickly how to house people. And if we treated this in the same way as an emergency that people talk about this being an emergency, um, we could open up some big box stores, retrofit them. With frequent shootings, Gun violence, a big issue. I wanted to know about their solutions. When we're not investing in giving the district attorney the funds and the personnel that he needs to deliver justice, then we are actually making the problem worse. So it is a budget for personnel with, with clear directives and clear transparent accountability mandates. And I'll be very supportive of funding community care teams that actually send credible messengers into the community when there's been a shooting, to go to the hospitals, to go into the community to talk to um, individuals who might retaliate um, and continue the cycle of gun violence. I would move to close gun shows in the area. I would move to close gun shops in the area. I'd like to see a robust buyback program. I think that is something that the county uh, could work on. And uh, I'd like to see an annual checkup for people in our region who own guns. Uh, just something simple where they come before somebody every year and just have a little bit of a checkup. Now keep in mind in this race, if no candidate gets 50%, the top two are in a runoff in November. Ballots due tomorrow, postmark tomorrow, or in a drop box by 8 p.m. So if you're not sure where your ballot is, you can go get another one if you need to at your county elections office. Yeah, and with the, uh, the Metro housing bond that was passed by voters, which giving the county another quarter billion dollars a year, that elevates this position and all the county positions higher than they used to be in importance. A absolutely, good point.